Good morning, my friends. 7 a.m., April 10th. Welcome to beautiful Bucks County, Pennsylvania. We're at the Delaware Canal State Park. Delaware River is right over there. Uh, I was just checking it out this morning. It uh, must be at flood stage. We've had a lot of rain recently, but it's a beautiful morning. The sun is just coming out, and we are here at a place called the Giving Pond. Uh, I've never been here before. I've heard about it. Supposedly there is a short trail that loops around this 90 acre impoundment of water. So let's go check it out. Let's hit that trail guys. Gator out. The Giving Pond here is part of the Delaware Canal State Park and we're, we are parked right off of River Road, Route 32. And according to the uh, park brochure, the Giving Pond here was established in 2002 and it was a former industrial site. I believe it was a, a quarry or a mining type operation, but it's a relatively new addition to the state park system and it's described as a hidden gem. And so far, it's quite a peaceful and beautiful place. It's a beautiful spring morning, and uh, I'm dying to see some, some splashes of color on the ground. Looking for some wildflowers. I can see some, but... It's just still a little too early. Like I said, we're in we're in the second week of April. So we're entering into that phase now where things are beginning to green up. Um, but in the next like six weeks or so, it's gonna be some of the best times to uh, get out and explore. Today would, be, would have been a great day to go look, go find some waterfalls with all the rain we've had. Just a little pressed for time this morning. I couldn't do a long trip. So I wanted to explore one of the areas closer to uh, where I live. All right, so it looks like we have our first uh, issue of the day on the trail here. Uh, the road that we've been walking on is completely flooded out, and that's not clean mountain water, and uh, no, I'm not going to go walking through it today. But because this is a small park and uh, a short trail, I'm going to backtrack, go back to where I parked, and see if I can go around the loop the other way and get back to this point. But uh, not going through there. Told you we had a lot of rain recently. Well, we're gonna try this again. We're back at the uh, main entrance area and I'm gonna look for a continuation of the trail heading the other way. We were going uh, counter, we were going clockwise. Now we're gonna try going counterclockwise back to that point. got this trail off to the left looks like a little side trail I don't not sure if it leads to anything but I'll check it out real quick I'll turn you around there's like there appears to be some kind of like invasive grass growing here or something I'm not sure what this is
All right, so this little footpath here took us out to that point. We're on the north side of the uh, pond here, and you can see with all these reeds around me that this is like a, a wet area, probably. I'm not sure if this area is even really passable uh, in the summertime once everything starts really, the vegetation starts really growing. It's a kind of like a brushy, uh, like thickety uh, area. But I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and see if we can keep making our way around the pond because there's a marked trail. There ha well, I don't know if there's a marked trail, but there definitely is a trail here. So we'll keep exploring. It's just an exploration today. So just as I, so just as I was talking there, this is the first blazes I've seen anywhere. Uh, a double yellow blaze indicating a left turn. Um, so apparently there are at least some blazes here somewhere. But you can see this is definitely more of an established trail. And uh, we do have a road here. So apparently on the other side of this uh, little road here is, uh, I guess, a quarry that's still in, um, still in use, I guess. There's all kinds of posted signs, private property, trespassers will be prosecuted. But we don't want to go that way anyway. We want to continue up the road here and just like that we are now at the Delaware Canal and I finally have my bearings with me so I'm going to suggest instead of going through all that that I went through that you just follow this road it's a rural road I'll list the name below and uh, I'll just walk the road to the canal here uh, to make an easier loop and not go through all that brush Now this is more like it, my friends. It's been a long time since I've been on the uh, DNL Canal here, and uh, but this is smooth, level walking, popular with bike riders and joggers. And as I said, you have all this beautiful forsythia growing here, and uh, these old-looking, nice country homes. And this is classic Bucks County here. This is good stuff. Cloudscape out there today is absolutely magnificent. It's really beautiful. Check it out. If you own one of these houses on the other side of the canal, uh, this little road here, you'd have some exclusive real estate. You have the cliffs behind you, the canal here, beautiful pond across the uh, away and uh, that would be a nice little spot to have. Okay so there now appears to be a little path that can take us into the Giving Pond area. However I noticed what looks like a red covered bridge down the uh, canal path a little bit so let's go check out that covered bridge first before we head back down towards the water. We're definitely, definitely getting into a few houses now. There's actually uh, houses on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. Uh, so make sure you stay on the 
canal path when you come through this area. guys this is a super cool spot here the Elhurst Down covered bridge which dates to 1856 I believe and there is an actual living community all around the bridge here so please be respectful of private property uh, there is a way to go from the canal path up onto the bridge here I just seen a car go through here um, but if you're going to check out the Giving Pond area definitely come check out the bridge it's only about an eighth of a mile, quarter of a mile from the pond, and it's really awesome. Okay guys, we are back on the access path that takes you down to the giving pond that completes the loop around the pond after checking out the really cool uh, Olhurst Town covered bridge. So when we get closer to the water, I'll let you know. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I appreciate you. The primary use of the uh, facility here is for like kayakers and boaters. I think, I think no uh, powered boats are allowed, um, but it's very calm water. So it's really good for people who are uh, inexperienced and want to learn how to kayak, or if you just want a peaceful place to check out the birds. And I'm sure if it was a little warmer, we could see some frogs and, and turtles and other things. You also can fish here. Uh, I'm not sure how good the fishing fishing is, but um, yeah, it's primarily a place for boaters, but this loop itself is a nice little hike. Anybody can do it, and if this road wasn't flooded out up ahead, uh, we'd be in good shape here. But uh, that's probably only gonna be the case after really heavy rains, so. Beautiful spot here, the Giving Pond, Delaware Canal State Park. my friends thank you for joining me once again for some nature adventure and discovery here from the giving pond in delaware canal state park bucks county a relatively easy loop hike around a 90 acre impoundment of water good for kayaking and fishing and picnicking you can also walk along the historic delaware canal you can check out the ulhurst town covered bridge so this is a little bit of a under the radar spot um, Wish the weather had been a little better today. We're in one of those weather patterns in April where, you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. This is really a beautiful spot. Lots of like little islands out in the uh, water. And I imagine if the weather was a little better, you'd be able to see all kinds of frogs and turtles and all kinds of birds. Thanks for joining me. And if you like this video, please give it a like. It, it really helps the channel a lot. And if you have a comment or a question, I'd be happy to answer them. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And um, that's about it. Got some errands to run today. So this is a nice, easy, about, about 1.5, 2 mile loop. And uh, that's about it, guys. 
So until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator out. Thanks.